I saw some examples of various things on the internet that were I thought were pretty creative and compelling and I just I just wanted to give it a shot myself. Well it starts with the nose because um, that's going to be the deepest the deepest point is right there and that tells me how how much room that I've got to work with over the rest of the face. Once I've got that carved out I get a little sense of the nose here and then I work on the brow and I decide is it going to be brow up brow down, is it going to be a frown, is it going to be a surprise, you know, what kind of expression that I'm going to have on it. Um, beyond that, the, the basic construction of the nose and the brow and where the cheeks and the, uh, and the corners of the mouth are going to be, it's, it's all about the eyes and the, and the detail work in the teeth. The pumpkin kind of takes me where it wants to, as much as I'm trying to push it where I want it to go. And I, I find that in any kind of design that I do, whether I'm painting or, or carving or whatever, that I'm less interested in being precise than I used to be. I like the chaos. I like, the, I like to be surprised, and by the time, by the time I'm finished with it, you know, the whole time I'm working on it, I have no idea if it's going to be success, fully successful the way I'd like it to be. I think they all look pretty good. But I like being surprised at the end with, oh, there you are.